I wait for Lashan and Vishan and Ish, uh, Kian to come and play with me in the sand. I wake up early in the morning and wait for them. Welcome to our world at Kerry. Every day when I wake up at Kerry, I, you know, take the long walk, easily a couple of kilometers across the coast, where I walk from uh, the Ajoba Temple along the beach and through those forests right into Terekhol. And sometimes, if I have a little more time, I even take the ferry. This little story is about how I go on the left side of the beach from where I stay after obviously spending time with the morning rituals in the sea to just go find a rocky beach. And there is a beautiful beach beyond the rocky beach too. But that's coming up in the second episode. For now, we start with the first episode where I walk across the beach and uh, try and find a beautiful little secret cave. A little bit of playing in the sea and a little bit of going and taking water from the sea to go build our morning castle. After we did that, we decided to pack up. So Nandu was then spending time with the other kids inside the shade. I decided maybe it's time to get some me time and I decided to walk across to the other side of the beach. The distance as you see is not more than 500 meters from where our shack was to where the rocky beach starts. So as I started to walk there, the only thought there was um, to should I walk barefoot or should I you know, wear my sandals. Sandals means a lot of dust gets in, I'm not very comfortable with that. I put a cap on and I put my uh, towel and then I started walking the long expanse of the beach. As much as the waves create the noise, when you're walking it actually feels like there's absolutely no sound.
As much as the waves create the noise, when you're walking, it actually feels like there's absolutely no sound. <laughs> 